Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Danielle and I'm a health information management profession professional. Sorry guys, it's been a couple of months since my last updated post, but I wanna say thank you so much for like, commenting, and subscribing. And welcome to my new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. So guys, it's been so long and I miss you guys so much. I've been learning new skills, I've been implementing new processes, and I've been helping my team in the health information management department at my local hospital, and it's been busy. I've been busy, busy, busy. So um, you guys had questions in the comments, and I'm here to address them. Most of these questions will be in separate videos because they need to have their own video for it for those purposes. But many of you guys as HIM professionals or HIM prospective students want to know what classes you need to take as an HIM professional or prospective student. And I'm here to address those questions today. Today is the day. We're gonna address it. So I wanna say first, Congratulations, you guys chose a major specialty. HIM is gonna give you so many career opportunities, so many job advancements, and it is booming. It's more data-driven than it was years ago. So I wanna say congratulations to those of you who got accepted into the HIM program and that is about to start the program. Like, congratulations, it's a huge step. Some of you guys wanna know, like, uh, I, I really don't know what HIM is, what classes do you need to take? I'm gonna tell you. Most of the HIM programs, first I wanna say are, 90% of the programs are online. Some of the programs are not in the classroom. So when I mean online, online is, you're logging into the computer at a certain time to join your professor via WebEx or via Zoom or via Blackboard or via Canvas. You have to join for your class, whether that's two times a week, once a week, or you have to listen to the recording. So you're gonna log into the classroom and you'll see a lesson plan for that week You'll see uh, what chapters you need to read, and then you'll have homework assignments and discussion posts. And many people are like, discussion post? I know, you're giving me the side eye. Discussion posts, you can't get rid of them. I know it's a lot of writing, it's a lot of time, but the discussion post is like participating in the classroom. You need to do it. This is where you'll collaborate with your professor, but also collaborate with the HIM students in your classroom. You'll learn new different skills. You'll learn different medical terminology, different things to do in the HIM field. You're gonna learn so much in those discussion posts and you'll reply back to your classmate like, hey, John, like, I didn't know that to release a medical record, you need to have a consent form. Hey John, did you know that for medical records, by legal law, you have 30 days to release that medical record chart? You're gonna learn so many things in those discussion posts. So don't be timid, don't be shy. Do your best, reply, because you will want somebody to reply to your post too. Also, your professor, if you have questions about any assignments, any discussion posts, reach out to your professor. Say, hey professor, you know, I really didn't understand what happened in chapter one for release of information. Can you please further explain to me? Your professor does not bite. Your professor is here to help you. Your professor is here to navigate, to teach you all the different things in HIM so you can land your dream job and your dream specialty. It's very important, don't be shy. Reach out to your professor, whether it's 
via texting message if they if your professor gives you their telephone number via email via, via canvas via teams um however your professor asks you to communicate with them reach out to them also reach out to your classmates because some most of the time the questions that you have your other classmates have those same questions too so collaborate as him professionals we are easy to collaborate with one another we need to be adaptable and approachable so don't be shy learn those foundational skills and now because you're gonna need it once you dream that dream specialty job of yours also as him students y'all need to take your english classes your math classes um you may have to take a uh, entrance exam um, for english and math to see what level you are based at um but don't be timid or afraid take the entrance exam you'll do fine study pass you get accepted also good news for those who are about to either apply as a HIM student into their local university or college um, there's no standardized test like there is for a nursing major medical school getting into radiology respiratory therapist there is no major entrance exam like the T's the MCAT there's none of that for our program so don't be afraid take the basic math and English class you'll do well go past if you have to take a remedial math or reading class, it's fine. Most of us are not really good in one or the other, but it does not uh, reflect you of how smart you are. So not everybody's a good test taker. I wasn't, I had to learn those skills while I was in the program, but you will be fine. Just apply yourself be motivated, and be determined. Also, as students, I wanna say, make sure you have a planner. It's very, very, very important to have a planner. It's gonna help you stay focused. You'll write your three top three priorities, um, what needs to be done for the course week, um, keep you on task. I had a planner as an HIM student and to this day as an HIM professional who has graduated I use a planner every single day of my life the, a planner is essential to life it helps you stay organized it helps you stay focused um, keeps you on track and holds you accountable for the things that you need to get done throughout the week um, it's important because you don't want anybody saying, hey, you missed assignment or hey, why didn't you do this project or task while you were working? So stay determined, stay motivated and do your things. Um, also, I want to say that it's important that we join those local state chapters as HIM students, join those chapters. I live in New Jersey, so I joined my New Jersey HEMA Association for students. Guys, it is like $25, I believe, on a HEMA.com to join. $25 is nothing as a student. Once you become an HIM professional, the fee goes up to like $150, where I believe up to $200, depending on how many credentials you have. So pay the fee now of $25 join the join the state chapter go to those um, student perspective meetings so you could collaborate with other students in the community in your state as an HIM student I did it it was worth it and I built so many friendships from joining my state association it's important join it $25 you can't beat it also as HM students I want to tell you guys I know test taking can be discouraging for you guys but I'm gonna give you the tips the ins and outs this is free information guys free free 
The tips are of being successful as a student and passing those proctor exams is reading that HIM Bible. Read the chapters, highlight, take notes, ask questions, do your research, collaborate. You'll do well. You'll do well. If it takes you two hours to read a chapter, read one hour one day, one hour the next day. You take notes. Maybe you could do group study sessions. Do it. Do what you have to do that's going to make it easier for you to be a successful student. It's important. You need to know those laws and regulations in and out as an HIM professional. You need to know the rules and regulations of your state. You need to know that insurance information. Study, study, study because all those medical terminology and information isn't going away. It's gonna be there forever. <laughs> so know it now, know it now. And if you don't use flashcards, I use flashcards as a student. I also used uh, highlights. I use colorful pens, colorful paper, colorful binder, anything that popped out. I was like, okay, I can understand that information. Okay, um, I know this because it was on the pink paper. Um, I had easy um, tricks up my sleeves to make me memorize information, to make me understand information. Um, what was helpful for me is talking to other students in the classroom, um, also watching videos, um, and also like talking to other people in the field already. I feel like that was the most important key for me because it gave me a, a solid foundation. It taught me that, okay, like we, I have to start somewhere. Um, it's okay to feel scared. It's okay to feel frustrated. It's okay to feel discouraged. But if I don't try these different methods, I'll never know if it'll work. So don't be afraid. Your professors are here to help you guys. They're here to guide you. They're here to make you successful students and successful future HIM professionals, guys. We need you guys. We're excited for you guys. I get excited when I see students wanting to learn. I get excited when students ask me questions because it just makes my heart so happy. <laughs> and so I know that sounds super cheesy, but I get excited because I truly love my fields. I truly love what I do. I truly love helping students. I truly love guiding you guys. And there's no great feeling than loving what you do. It's not just a job, it's a career. It's something you invested and it's something that you're gonna do long-term, right? You have to love what you do. It's not just about the money. The money's gonna come as you learn with experience, with credentials. So learn what you can now, soak it all in, take that and you'll be so successful guys so make sure you like a comment and subscribe if i didn't answer some of your questions about hi young students or classes i know it was very vague but make sure you check with your local university ask them for the curriculum because most of the curriculums are the same but some of them are different so i don't want to tell you the exact classes you need to take but go online and most of the universities will tell you the curriculum and classes that you need to take. If you can take those prerequisite courses like math, statistics, English comp, um, art class at a community college and it saves you hundreds of dollars, do it because it's transferable, why not? If you didn't watch my last video, I told you guys how I got into my journey as a HIM professional. I started as a nursing major. So make sure you click that video, watch it, because you'll get a better understanding how I was able to navigate and learn as an HIM professional. Um, 
But yeah, guys, congratulations for getting accepted into your HIM program. And if you haven't decided or was nervous about joining the program, don't be. Just join now because it's forever growing. Job opportunities are advancing. We're data driven, we're flexible, and we need more HIM professionals. We need it. Um, hospitals need us, long term care facilities need us, insurance companies need us. Um, we are needed basically everywhere. Uh, we're needed in the NFL, we're needed as newscasters behind the scenes. Maybe for medical records, we're needed at insurance companies. Every area that involves people with health, we're needed. So it's growing. Even Amazon is hiring us now. Um, I believe UPS is, is hiring us now. We're needed everywhere. And it's so, so, so exciting. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to know more about the HIM field, the specialties, how do you get into the field, like, comment, subscribe, leave all of your questions and your concerns in the inbox, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!